This addendum video covers these five additional minerals, which the lab class is required to identify. Let's review their distinguishing characteristics. Let's start with the three green minerals. Their color is always going to be green, so that is the first distinguishing characteristic. How do we distinguish further among them? Let's look more closely at their crystal form. This mineral grows in long, thin prisms, or needles. This mineral is massive, with only one visible crystal face that shows striations, linear indentations along its surface. Those striations won't always be visible on crystal faces for this mineral, but they are common. The rest of the mineral just looks massive. And this green mineral is very small and flaky, with cleavage surfaces very similar to a mica. The green mineral that appears as long, thin prisms or needles is actinolite. If we look closer, we see that it displays a splintery edge like hornblende. Actinolite and hornblende are both members of the amphibole family and share some similar traits. The green mineral that is massive is called epidote. It is also quite hard, harder than glass. That helps us distinguish it from serpentine, which is also green and massive. Remember, serpentine is also smooth and rounded and softer than an iron nail. Sometimes epidote shows up as long, flat prisms. When that happens, it's easier to confuse it with actinolite. But when you see them side by side, you see the different shape of the prisms. The green mineral that is flaky is chlorite. It is typically found as small crystals, usually too small to see with the naked eye. It is very similar to a mica, but the single cleavage plane flakes are not flexible. Now let's look at the brown mineral. Notice its shape is a six-sided barrel thicker in the middle than at the top and bottom, which are both flat ends. This crystal form is one of its most distinctive properties. The other is its hardness, which on a scale from 1 to 10 is a 9. This mineral is called corundum, and it can appear in a variety of colors. The transparent blue variety is called sapphire. The red variety, ruby. The samples we have in the class are all opaque and brown. The final mineral is blue to grayish in color and has a crystal shape described as blades, long flat minerals shaped like a sword blade. When thin, the blades are flexible, so you often see the crystals bent. This mineral is called kyanite. In all cases, these five additional minerals can be distinguished from each other and the 20 minerals described in the first video by their crystal form but each also has other distinctive properties that corroborate your identification.